fix up the net, Philip. Evening, Mary. Good evening. Anything I can do to help? Oh, no, 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 no. I think you're newlyweds. You're getting as much rest as you can. <laughs> Is it me or the room temperature this week? Uh, well, it should be all right. I've had a well with the caretaker. Uh, short of installing a thermostat, there's nothing else I can do, really. That no, looks all right. That's fine. Fine. You're doing a great job. Fancy a knock. Warm up before the tourney. Love to. Try this. Use the old feathers for the knockabout and keep the new ones for the tourney. Oof! Got you already? Naughty. Unfair advantage. Hello, Rodney. Oh. You're looking very flash, aren't you? Well, it's a tourney, isn't it? <laughs> You know I'm covering it for the local paper. Oh. Oh, yes, well, three's a crowd. Uh, why are you covering it? Well, to advertise the club, don't you see? I mean, next season I'd like to put in some more members, so we do need advertisement. I'm going to put us on the map. Hoping for an inch in the Gazette? Well, I've brought my little camera along for a final photograph. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have done that, really. I should have hired Lord Snowden. Oh, you can talk. You've dressed up rather flashily, haven't you? I, 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 I mean splendidly, of course, old son. Expecting to be champion, are we? No, 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 no. Uh, I think you've lost your knock. Well, yeah. Good God, listen to those feet. Married life must have gone down to her ankles. <laughs> oh, Mary, do not use the tournament shuttles for the knockabout, please. Oh, I didn't realise. <laughs> Charming girl, lies like a two-faced clock. You have to watch them like kids, you know, when you're secretary. Well, by the time the club membership grows, you'll have a ball patch. What? Well, you're a bit thin now, you know. I'm oh, not really, am I? Don't worry. Girls like bald men. It's a sign of virility. Yes, well, you do all right with that mop. Exception to prove the rule. <laughs> oh. Aha. Oh. Uh -huh. Here comes the glamour. Evening goes. Beautiful as ever, my lovelies. Bags, I have a bit of a knock before the tournament. How about you, Veronica? A bit of a knock before the tournament? Not right. with rapid feathers, thank you. Come on, come on. This should be time for a quick little knock. Oh, oh yeah. Well, five's a bigger crowd, isn't it? Look, I I'll knock up over, over here on the side. How about you, Rodney? Fancy knock on the side? No, I don't knock over the side. Oh. So over the net or nothing. Oh, please. come on, come on. You'll spoil it there. Oh, come on, just a couple of floaties. All right. Have you started? Oh, dear, Locker. Oh, all God. waiting for you. It's my bird turn now. Don't keep rings on your pigeons. Anybody lend me a bat? Oh, dear, oh, dear. We must buy a club racket one of these days when we get some funds. In the meantime, have a tickle with my spare one. He won't buy his own racket, as long as he can get one free. It's like everything else since he left school. Anything without work or effort. From free women to social security. Everyone condemns oh. Locke automatically. <laughs> Experience. Past record. Right, shall we, uh, shall we start then? Uh, when's Sue going to arrive, Locke? Forget her anyway, it's Jenny this week. Oh, yeah, but if we're going to pick sides, we need a full number of couples, you know. She'll show up, don't worry. Yes, well, look, I've got all your names here in a hat. Now then, if you'd like to come across here with me, we'll have a dip in and see who plays with who, shall we? I thought it was understood that Philip and I were partners. Oh, you what? mustn't be so inseparable. You've only been married a month, but we've been practising together. So we're Phil on the carpet. <laughs> it doesn't really matter about us being partners, Mary, does it? I'm sorry, but it matters to me. I'm not sure I could play with anyone oh, else. She couldn't synchronise. Well, Philip, do you think you could tear yourself away from your spouse? Well, I don't know. If Mary would rather... Oh, let them play together, George, for God's sake. It doesn't take all their names you out of do that, that night, Ted, oh. and we'll keep on practising. Uh, Millie, mm -hmm. uh, come over on the side and uh, relieve the congestion of me, will you? Veronica's looking rather lovely, isn't she? Oh, I'll ask her to come on the sidelines, then. A lady doesn't come onto the side to hear her best friend being praised. Tell me, uh, is she knocking about with anybody? I don't answer such vulgar terminology. Knocking about with is not a term for any female activity of which I am aware. Now, Rodney, the shuttle. No, but is she? What business is it of yours? Was you've had your chance. Right, here you are, then. Here you are. Now, uh, just take a piece of paper out, and have a man's name on it, and that'll be your partner. Is that all right? Yes, Philip? Mm. You oh. can't have Philip. Because I've got Philip too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, girls. Who have you got? I am blessed with you, George. Oh, good. I'll carry you through the rougher patches. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Well. And, uh, and Veronica with Rodney. Yes? Yes. Mm. We've partnered before, haven't we, Rodney? And might well do again. Oh. Only in sport, I think. Have you told her anything? I don't share my intimate disasters. Right. All we need to do now is to decide right. the playoff. Yes? All right. right. Listen, what about me? Well, you said your bird was coming. Did you take my name out of the hat? Yes, you said your bird was coming. Look, I want a partner. This is oh. a fix, this is. You said your bird was coming. The Mary said they wanted to stick together. Oh, I know that, but if you are introducing I'm a bird... I'm introducing, you're not playing anymore, well Mary. Now, put my name in the hat. Oh. Fair deal. Come on, Ruffles, get on with it. I want a partner. He would do. He wants everything given to him. I want a partner. Look, I tell you what, you can partner Millie. Oh, George. And I will sit on the sidelines and wait for your bird to arrive. Is that all right? Don't do that. You're spoiling. Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind. Honestly, I don't. I want to make sure this tournament is run well. And the best way for me to do that is to sit on the sidelines and umpire. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I will miss you, George, darling. I will miss your light but strong guidance. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, yes, I well, look, if all the men would spin their rackets, please. Rough or smooth, and the old couple <laughs> sit out. Are you ready? Spin. Uh, Rough. Um, we're smooth. Oh, we don't play you, then? Deciding no. spin. Rough. Ah, right, you're on, then, with right. even there. I'm right. first, bleeding six. Wasn't a fixed tiger. We're on first. You too cold to start. No, too full of beer, rough and smooth. What a fiddle. What's wrong with spinning a coin, heads or tails? People don't usually carry coins in their badminton dress, that's all. I do. Got a pocket full of them. <laughs> Shall we spin for ends? We like it here. All right, all right with you, lot. Don't care which style I win at. Uh, uh, to be fair, you should really spin for ends. You know? Mary, what is it? Smooth. It's rough. Our choice of ends. You can stay there. Thank you. May I sit next to the umpire's chair? What? Yes, of course you can, yes. Uh, and now, Lop, now, I partner your bird if and when she arrives, am I correct? You can do what you like with her. Your mate's a bit of a smasher, isn't she? Yes, and I'm her plain friend. Does she do anything? Better ask her, I'm not her agent. Oh, a bit of all right, she is. She went to convent school, didn't she? Yes. They're the best they are, go mad when they get out of there. Oh, is your bird a convent girl? No, a walrus. Oh. Right, right, can we start then, please? Can we start? Uh, Rodney, we do the lights, please. Oh, yeah, thanks. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Yes, typical that, isn't it? Just typical. Oh, well, look, never mind. Time's creeping on. Mary to serve. Light glares from here. Are we all ready, then? <coughs> Ding. Opening round of the match of the century. <laughs> Tenacity. Yes, it's called working in coordination. <laughs> Millie would be a dainty player if she had a good partner. The lot's good. Very good. A natural athlete. Yes, uh, I wonder what brought him here. It's an open club. One lot. She's going usually down to three tons playing the pinball machine. Then our lot's a pioneer. First of the tearaways to join our fine little set. Two love. Oh, I don't think he's as tough as they make out. Try him. We can always invite the St. John's Ambulance Brigade as spectators. Love three, side out. Side out? Yes, he goes over to them now. No, surely it doesn't. I've lost my serve and now it's Phyllis. Not on the first service. On the first service, only one partner has a serve, then it goes to the other side. Shall we check in the know the game book? I know the game, thanks, Rodney. Side out. Lob to serve. I do know the game, all right? I'm quite firm. If I hadn't been so firm, I may have wavered, but I do know the game on that point. Oh, good point. One, three. It was in... Come on, play to the ref. Umpire. That's very precise. I like to be correct. So do I. Tell you what, lend this your bat. I'll be a bit more correct. It's hand-built, specified to my requirements. My requirements are the same as yours, I think. Come on, toss us your bat. Racket. Racket, then. Anything with a gut and beat these sods. You're playing beautifully. Thanks, I'm inspired. Why? Meet you in the final. Oh, Christ, if there's going to be mumbling, sweet nothings from Lop. Yeah, she likes sweet somethings from everybody else. Yeah. Bit of a chatsy little game, this, isn't it? <sighs> Shall I serve tea on court? Lop, you sure your bird's coming? Yeah, you'll have a partner, all right, don't worry. You'll recognise her. She'll be tailor-made for Lop. Meow. Excuse me, George. Are you watching the game? Was that in or out? Yes, I am watching. It was miles out. Two, three. <clears throat> I don't remember her as severe as this before marriage, you know. She was always wearing a smile. Well, perhaps you found there was no need to keep on wearing it. Came off on her honeymoon night along with her false hairpiece. Still two, three. One down. Love to serve. Oh, you do know the game, don't you, George? Yes, and I keep awake when I'm umpiring. I'm going to keep a firm grip on this game. I say, couldn't you have a word with Lop about his clothes? Just mention the matter of whites. Well, he can see for himself, can't he? Yeah, I think he's colorblind. I don't think he even lets it cross his mind. Then cross it for him. Three all. Just say you look nice in whites, or um, I'd like to see a bit more of you in white. Put <laughs> her on the spot if she said that. Then you say it. I just set a shining example. Mm. Mm. Still three all. Side out. Philip sir. Who's to receive, George? I receive. I thought you just took. 
Hey, what's the chances of just taking with your maid? For whom? For me. If you intend using the same tactics as you do with your sundry birds, I should say the chances are nil. Do you now? Still three or one down, married to serve. She ought to be forced to wear a tighter bra when she's serving. Simply dangerous receiving. I thought she found it dangerous receiving anything. That hurt. Don't ride your key man. Then don't be frivolous. You're inviting her back. 4-3. You're losing your grip on this game. You are. I can feel it. She's floating them over to you, and you're just gawking at them. I'm playing my best. Oh, I say, that was a vicious one. Philip, well done. 5-3. I'm concentrating. Where's she work? In an estate agent's office. Typist? Secretary, I think confidential. Bloody would be, wouldn't she? Oh, nasty. Losing your confidence? Several. Well paid lots of minutes. If it's seven, can we change round now? Well, do you want to? Yes, this light's glaring in my glasses. But why aren't you wearing your contact lenses? Found I couldn't wear them after I got married. Yeah, well, you're going to find it very difficult to readjust your pupils if you change round now. No, I don't know if you want to change round now, really, do we? We did spin. That was for service. Those who have service must pay You should change at half time. Oh, goodness, if we're going to change for the light, have let's when the shuttle hits the lampshades and out of bounds when it hits the ceiling, we might as well make up our own. Millie, will you let me explain? Millie! Now, look, if we were playing the best of three games, which we would be if the first aid people didn't have the hall after us, then we would. Is this your lady, love? No chance. It ain't one of mine. I ain't got them like that. Is this the badminton? I was told this was the badminton club. May I join? Well, this is the badminton club, yes. Then I would like a game, please. Thank you very much. You would like my money? What? Oh, oh your fee. Uh, no, you don't have to worry about that. No, uh, visitors are allowed the first session free. Oh, no, no. I do not want to be a visitor. I would like to play now. And perhaps always. Who knows? You could be my partner. She could be my partner, couldn't she, in the tournament? Can you play? No. Well, I don't care. I'll carry you. But I'm very good at things. I catch on very quickly. Uh, please do not all look at me. What's your name? Helga. Helga. Well, look, uh, carry on with the game, everyone, would you? And uh, I'll just, uh, just uh, take Helga over to the side and show a few shots. Excuse me, George. But are you allowing a newcomer to play in the tournament? Well, she is a newcomer from another land. A Germany. You do not want me to play? It's not that. You just have to be voted for. Well, then please vote for me. I would like you all to favour me. You have to be voted for at a club meeting. Well, look, we could vote for her after this evening's tournament, couldn't we? But can't, can't she play before then? Oh, I think we'd all like her to, wouldn't we? I mean, uh, well, she's dressed for the part. What about Locke's girl if she arrives? We've already promised her membership. She can make the tea. Now, come on, get on with it. What about an umpire, George? Uh, well, 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 can't you keep the score yourself as well, you go in, along? In a tournament, it would perhaps be preferable to have an umpire. Oh, I'll it? umpire. Oh, if Veronica will give me moral support. Granted. I acknowledge I need it. First step to recovery. Right, how does it stand? With difficulty. Seven all, lot to serve. Fine. I, uh... <laughs> I thought for a moment you had a bird of rare quality lot. Look, no comments from umpires, and I might get smashed with their own hand built racket. Now you stand there impartial like. Seven all. Seven all! Are you uh, new to the village? Quite new, thank you. How new? Oh, weeks. What brought you here? Aeroplane and train. <laughs> no, no, I mean, uh, are you visiting? I'm away from home, therefore I'm visiting, naturally. Yeah. Whom? Uh, whom are you visiting? Who am I visiting? Hmm. I'm visiting the people who are inviting me. <laughs> and they are... I have come here to learn the strokes. Not chet chet, strokes. Yeah, I, I, I'm most awfully sorry. Well, look, here you are. You see, this is the court. Now, you see, it's divided up uh, into... Ju just a minute. I do not want to know about the court. I play tennis where the court is similar. 
I want to know about strokes with these feathered things, which is not similar to tennis. Yes, I'm very sorry. Right, you just hold the racket like this, right? Now, I'll very quickly show you the ropes. Yeah. Now, ropes? Which ropes? <laughs> no, ropes. Oh. no, there's no ropes. No, that's an English expression. You see, it means, uh, means show you the game. <coughs> then say what you mean, please. I'm not advanced in idiomatic English. I'm sorry. 10 7 goes the other side. Oh, right. uh, now, who is it, Mary or myself? What's the odds who serves in the marriage bed? It's we... mine, Philip. Thank you. Oh. Oh, Mr. Bush, there's a rule against not wearing whites. It should be compulsory. I oh, know. I oh, know. I thought for a moment she was Lop's girl. Obviously, you were wrong. Well, who is she? Do you know? I think she's come to live with Dr. and Mrs. Cartwright. Oh, that should give Dr. Cartwright more time. For his word. Ask Millie. What do you know about Millie and Dr. Cartwright? Only what's whispered in the surgery. The air is full of ether and gossip. I'm sorry, but I'm being deflected. What's the matter, love? Something snapped? George, you're waving about in my sight line. Well, I, I'm teaching Helga the shots. You're still in my sight line. Well, there's nowhere else to teach her. Unless you'd like us to play around the tea urn. You said you'd play on the sideline. Well, we are playing on the sideline. Well, the hall is a very close enough, game that... and a tight finish, and you're distracting my vision. We will have to go up on the stage. But I like it here. Yes, I know you do, but you'll find it quite nice up there. Come along. Sorry for distracting you. Thirteen, twelve. She's a lovely girl, don't you think? For someone, yes. You must serve underarm, you see. You I play it. tennis. I like overarm. Oh, nevertheless, in this game, you, you must serve underarm. Then you must not expect too much of me. Oh, I don't. No, I don't expect too much of you at all. On the contrary, I don't even think we'll win a point. <laughs> but I don't care. Just don't care. How dare you? I play to win. I always play to win. If you do not care, if we do not win a point, then I will try another partner. Oh, no, I want to win. Of course I want to win. I want to put up a jolly good show. All I'm saying is that the game itself will be worthwhile. British attitude. With you. George, George, 14-10, last point, last point. It's game if they win this point. You really must watch. Don't fluster me by watching. I've been put off a lot tonight at being a tournament and what. Where are they? What are you doing? Right, game, now for professionals. What are you doing? Well, I've checked out. Well done, Well done, Well done, Rodney, Rodney, Veronica, Veronica, opponents all, opponents all. Uh, as you know, uh, Helga, our little friend from over the waters, is entirely new to the game. Now, I brought her on as far as I could, as far as time would allow, but you must appreciate that she is, in fact, an absolute beginner. But, I mean, play your natural games, by all means, but just keep in mind, if you would, her total lack of experience uh, or just, skill. Just a minute. Is he telling you to take it easy with me? Please do not. This is a tournament. I like tournaments. I like to win tournaments. So please do not go easy with me. Fraulein, in honour of your pride and gamesmanship, I shall insist they play at their utmost. Zuzine, oder nix Zuzine, das ist die Frage. Where did you learn to speak German? British Army on the Rhine, dishonourable discharge, 1972. I like your attitude. What is your name? Lop. Have you not another name? I do not like Lop. It reminds me of fleas. Well, I can be called Lawrence. <laughs> but only by the birds. Then I shall call you Lawrence. Right. Uh, look, should we have a knock then, everyone? Uh, please, do not be hasty. I cannot play against persons I do not know. What are your partner's names? I'm so sorry, of course. Uh, Rodney, uh, Veronica, uh, knock, uh, Mary, Philip, uh, I'm George. Uh, oh, and that's Millie over there. Ah, so you are Millie. Good. I'm Helga. Now you may have a knock. Right. Uh, Rodney, Rodney yeah. uh, play them to Helga, will you? Play them no, to right. Helga. I'm already warmed up, you see. Uh, umpire, knock. Um, uh, I'm going to go and meet me bird. Um, Philip. Well, I was going to make the tea, actually. Okay, so, well, Mary wants to start the floor. Oh, well, then Mary can start the floor while she's umpiring, can't she? Splendid. Right. That's a lot. Come on, then, Philip. I'll fill the kettle and you can make the tea. Right, Veronica, what is it? Oh, uh, right. 
Ralph it is. Veronica will serve. Now, Helga, when she serves, just stand Please here. Please do not spoil by your game by having to care for me. I'm quite all right, really. Right, right. Oh, just, sorry, just sorry. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, don't change. We will all sweat in everything. You're right. You're right. Okay, ready? Yes, fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everything all right then, little mother? Thank you. Aid you in your married life? <laughs> yeah. Yes. You took us all by surprise, quiet, Philip. Are you in with the uh, Mary making tea for the cricket team? If you had the choice of all the tea making girls in the cricket pavilion, I'm surprised you didn't shop around a bit before settling down. Shop around with whom? Well, Veronica made the tea one season. From what I hear about Veronica, she did her own shopping around. Is that bad? Sounded bad. It strikes me that a girl's sex life is a very healthy drive, but when the boys talk about it amongst themselves, it becomes dirty. I didn't mean that. Hmm. Well, here's your apron, Mary. Thank you, dear. I'll go and see how many want tea. This game shouldn't take long. Don't let her hear you say that. Oh. Uh, stop the game, please. Is any of the court especially my territory? Uh, no, no. You just sort of play more or less up to the net. When you I see, do I'm... that, you jump in. When I drop back, you come storming in beside me. Well, I'm just anticipating. Last time, you did not anticipate my feet being in the way. 7-3, side out, and it's Rodney to serve. Thank you, Mary. Ready? Where's your bird, then? There's been a lightning bus strike. Why didn't you go and fetch her on your motorbike? I'm in sympathy with the conductors. Who's winning there? Well, George and that German girl seem to be making a lot of noise. That's right, so it really white. Win or lose, they make a beautiful couple. He's had a scene with Veronica, hasn't he? Ask him. I hear she's taken on half the town. Not down your end, presumably. She might fancy a bit of rough stuff. If you're sure that you can provide it. Look, 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 can we stop, please? Can we stop? It's a very close game under the circumstances. It's quite tense for some of us, but if, if Philip's allowed to go on talking, I'm sure some of us are going to lose our concentration! I'm sorry, I just wanted to know how many people wanted tea. You want tea, right? Thank you, Mary. I mean, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven ten to us. Oh, so you're winning, Fraulein? Yeah, I am. Beginner's luck. How dare you? It is not luck. I'm quite skillful. Look, I I'm sorry, that's another English expression. It's, it's sort of in inverted commas, you see. How can I see inverted commas come out of your mouth? Come on, get on with it. Well, I come here, willing to learn, to partake, when I have a background of tennis, but he jumps around my part. He says he's carrying me when I do not want to be carried anywhere. And now I'm having beginner's luck. I'm very unhappy. I think I would want to cry. Play on, Elga. He bullies all of us. Oh, does he? Well, I do not bully easy. Let's get on with it. Helga, it's your victory cup. Thank you, George. Did you bring it I brought it about two weeks ago. I say she's a good player, isn't she, Helga? I mean, natural aptitude and all that. Well, she'll be a tense final then. Didn't carry, you know. Meant to, didn't have to. Do you think she is an absolute beginner? Yeah. I'm only asking. Of course she is. She said so. Just wondered. I think you're wondering the wrong way. I'd say she is a beginner. Lots of Germans are natural athletes. Mm, she's not a liar. You can tell that by her countenance. I mean, I just meant absolute beginner. Who is she anyway, our little friend? Anyone know? She's Dr Cartwright's au pair girl. And whence has she sprung? She probably came to learn the language. Is that right, Millie? How should I know? I am merely a student nurse and he is the visiting doctor. I suppose there's a gulf in your trade. Mm, quite a chasm. Still, with the wife he has, chasms can be broached. There's nothing wrong with Mrs Cartwright. A bit of a tartar. How do these nice guys choose their spouses? I don't know. Perhaps it's a sort of seasonal blindness. It might come to you one day. Well, do me a favour and give me a nudge when I'm showing signs, will you? You wouldn't need a nudge. You'd need a shove. You've yeah, done a few yeah. her ever stop. She's out there with Philip now, practising. Maybe she needs it. 
I'm sure will. Stu and me, then. Oh, I wish you were on the other side of the net to me. Another time, darling. Oh, get off! Bossy, isn't she? Perhaps she had a right to be. It's a student nurse man, I suppose. Mind you, she subdues it in front of Dr Cartwright. What do you mean, Dr Cartwright? When my old lady was in hospital having the varicose veins tied, it was all her and Dr Cartwright. Oh. And which hospital was your mother in? St Mary's. I see. Thus malicious rumour gathers wing. Millie is at Central. OK, so I'm a rumour monger. I also like starting fires. This German girl, are you voting her in? Well, I hadn't thought about not voting her in. She's a good player. A bit too good, she looks to me. How does she look to you over the net? Pretty sharp. Do you think she's conning, George? Into what? Into being an absolute beginner. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. She isn't an absolute beginner now. She's got Phil catching her. I'm just gauging feelings. She got to see what Abby's up to then. He's just been kind. Yeah? Well, that leaves you and me free. Well, I don't know about you, but that's the way I'm staying. Well, if you're free after the tournament, I'm free. And easy. <laughs> uh, Millie, mm -hmm. can I have a word with you? Why not? Um, tell me, has Veronica told you anything? What should she tell me? Well, anything about me. Uh, nothing that she wants to get back to you. Well, has Dr Cartwright told you anything? What are you talking about? Oh. I am simply a student nurse and he is a general practitioner. Tell me, are you still at Central? Yes, of course I am, for another 18 months. Oh. Um, no chance of you going to St Mary's then? Of course not. Except for paediatric sessions. I did a week there. Lop's mum was in, varicose veins, life and soul of the ward, she was. Oh. Uh, he, he's a nice chap, Dr Cartwright. I found him very sympathetic. I had reason to go and see him for a man-to-man well, -man chat. He was very good. Put my mind at rest. Well, almost at rest. You wanted to ask me something? Um, no, 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 nothing. Well, when are we going to start the final? I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, well, our tea break normally turns into a sort of social, you see. Oh, I'm not a big tea drinker. And I'm only sociable when I'm active. Who else will have a knock with me? Yeah, someone will give me a break. This girl is all energy. Come on. I'll come with you. Oh, I do not want to play with you. You bully me. Besides which, you're my partner. I want to play the opposition. You, give me some tuition. Tuition in what, darling? Do not try double meanings with me. If you wish to make a statement, make it and I will give a straight reply. Great. How's chances? Of sex, nil. Of badminton practice, excellent. Come along. Now, why can't you birds be like that? <laughs> like would know where he was. I think the club will go downhill if we allow the likes of her, and she's too determined. Well, I like her. Oh, all you men say I like her. But that's not the same thing as saying, is she good for the club? All the way through, really. Oh. What have you done to Rodney? What do you mean? Ah, lost all his old warmth, gaiety, womanising, spontaneity, and what is worse, confidence. Has he? Mm. Have you demoralised him? I hope not, darling. Ah, so there is something wrong. Well, there may well be a little hitch in his life. You've been to see Dr Cartwright. Oh, so Dr Cartwright is consoling many of us then. You're not telling me? No, nurse. Not till it reaches fever pitch. All right, but don't cause an epidemic. I think Lop's catching something of it. You know he's asking for a date if he wins the tournament. Shall I throw the game to save your honour? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it needs that sort of saving. <laughs> well, you see, I uh, fancied her very badly this summer. Organised my life to make it. Took her down to the parents' caravan in Bournemouth. Disaster. She came back early to watch the cricket team play. Oh, well, uh, give me the date if you like. I'll tell you who we were playing. It uh, might have been one of the visitors. Oh, Christ, Phil, I'd like to know. Look, Rodney, ever since you left school, you've been setting up girls and laying them. Don't come whining to me when one of them goes wrong. Perhaps she went off you. It is possible, Romeo. Maybe your toupee has slipped. Um, does Rodney know anything about Lewis Cartwright and me? From my lips, he knows nothing. Yeah, well, there's rumour in the air. I wonder how it got there. 
One of the finalists is on the court. You better get out there before she raises the net. Yes, right. Well, come on, everyone. Uh, let's get started, shall we? Yes? Right, um, umpire. Uh, Veronica, have you done it yet this evening? Oh. <laughs> no. Would you like to? I'd love to. Splendid. <laughs> Jealous? If I win this tournament, can I take you out? Are you trying to bribe the umpire? Does you need bribing? Well, let's see how the game goes, eh? Say you will. <laughs> oh, well. Seeing as there isn't a cup for the finalists, I will. Well, I only play to win if I fancy the prize. Right. Come on, finalists, come on. I've got the general feeling of the members. The pulse of opinion. Oh, yes? What about? About Telga, about her, about her being voted into the club. No, I don't care what the general feeling of the members or the pulse of the opinion is. If she's voted into the club by the majority of the members, then she's in. And I, for one, think most of us are decent enough to want her in. Oh, yes, I'm sure we are. But some of us think she's rather keen to win. Well, we all like to win a game or two. But she seems obsessed with winning. Some feel, not me, but some, that she would spoil the tone of the club with her excessive urge to win. Some feel it would be a bad thing, for example, if she were to win this tournament first time out. I think it would look bad in the Gazette. If she wins, she wins. If she doesn't, she doesn't. She could be stopped. Come on, everybody. Let us play the final. The time for tea is over. Let us play the game. See what I mean? She could be stopped. If Lop and Millie can't stop her, you could. How dare you? You mean throw the game? No. Just don't play to win. How dare you? I shall play my heart out. I shall fight every inch. I shall dispute every point. I'm coming, Helga. Right, shall we get started? Well, here we are. Big final. Now, we've come a long way from inauguration to tournament in less than one season. Let's try it. But I think we should all watch this because this is, in fact, the highlight of our sporting calendar. All yeah. right? Right. What is it, Lop? A bat, rough side up. Smooth it is. Ask to serve. One love to Elga. You have no idea how hard it'll be for me if you go out with him. I can't choose my partners to suit you. Oh, I, I know. But is he the one you wanted to get back to when you... When I what? Well, ran away from me. I didn't run away from you. I walked away from an embarrassment. Two love to Elga. I say, she's playing this game on her own. <laughs> All right, Gladys, often works out that way in ladies' doubles. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Ladies' doubles. He called us ladies' doubles, but we are not. You're a man and I'm a woman. We are mixed doubles. We are mixed doubles, Lawrence. Yeah, it looks like ladies' doubles to me. We... She's going to spoil the club if she gets in. Three love. I feel it going already. She's the centre of attraction. She wants it that way. If she wins, she'll ruin the club. Well, I think she deserves to be the centre of attraction. Thanks. I'll go and sit somewhere else. Perhaps I'll find myself under the limelight. Mm. Side out. Love four. Millie to serve. Now, just try to hold her serve, will you? Just try to hold her serve. We'll be all... Ladies doubles. He thinks we look like two ladies. I say you do not look like ladies doubles. You look very mixed. Love four, Lop. Thank you, darling. Look, can we cut out this frivolity, please? Some of us are trying to concentrate. Yeah, cut out the frivolity. She's upset. All right. I'm going to get him. Love four. One down, lock to serve to George. All right, Georgina. I'm all right, thank you. this evening. Oh, I, oh, my God, I've arranged an inch with a gazette. Am I allowed to have another partner? Well, it sure. won't really be fair. We should replay the tournament. Well, let her have another partner. Why do you want a game? I don't care. If there's an injury, another couple should take their place. Well, like you and Philip, we've beaten you once. No, 
like Veronica and Robin. Yeah. But that would mean I would not get a game. And I practice so hard. Well, let the girl have a game. I mean, she's so keen, you know. She's an example to us all. I think she, she should come off the court with her partner if she's alone. Then I will play alone. Oh, I'm afraid that's not allowed, dear. Well, look, I will, I will sit down on the court next to her. Then I'll have a partner. Oh, don't think so. Oh, oh, so I'll partner her. Uh, I'd rather like to, if, uh, if that's all right by you. Yes, Philip, you do that. Is that all right by you, umpire? Well, yes, yes, it's quite all right. Oh, you might do better with another partner. George, you're so sweet. I'm sorry I laughed when he teased you. We were not ladies' doubles. You were quite the man. Thank you. Well, I feel quite the man with you. Oh, smelling salts, he's fainted. No, look, look, look his uncle really is quite here. bad. Just put it up on him, will you? Perhaps he should pay a visit to oh. Dr. Cartwright. He can work on legs. Oh, I see. Like he worked on your mum's varicose veins. That's it. Why do you ask? I just wonder where the rumours were starting from, that's all. Ready when you are, what's the score? Well, it was... Love four, but Lot made it one four when George twisted his ankle. Do you want to play that point again, Lot? No, thanks, darling. Need every point I can get. Not very sporting of you. I'm playing for real, aren't I? All right, then, sport. One four. Elga to receive. Help me all you can, Philip. I'm very, very nervous. You'll just remember everything I told you, all right? My head is in a whirl, but I will try to think of everything. Right. I'll just put my jacket over your shoulders. You might catch a chill. Oh, that's very sweet of you, Mary. Um, when you write the report in the Gazette, are you going to call it a full club tournament? I mean, uh, under the circumstances. Well, of course I am. It's the, it's the publicity I'm after. Publicity? To swell the numbers. Well, we're already swelling among the women. You're not pregnant, are you? Not that I'm aware of. Three, four. Service to Phil. Uh, no, to Helga. No, to Phil. No, well, Lop served last, didn't he? No, Elga served before. First service. The man has served yet. Lop served last? Oh, for Christ's sake, George, leave the umpire alone, will you? She knows the game. Just sit there with your gammy leg up. All right, all right, all right. I'm very sorry, I'm very sorry. I just wanted to make sure a fair play for Helga, that's all. Our serve. Shall we try to win lots and lots of points? Yes. You're a very nice partner. You consider the woman. Ah, oh, but then, uh, I'm a married man. Nice. I went to see Dr. Cartwright. I hope you don't mind. Oh, why should I mind? You have your health to consider? I didn't mention the lady's name in the case. Thank you very much. 5-4. Phil loses his serve to Millie. Oh, oh no, sorry. Phil, still serving. Thank you. Are you trying? How are Mum's varicose veins? Fine. Quite a Betty Grable. Has she got the bandages off yet? Yeah, I think so. They should have tried bandaging her mouth. Oh, that's me and Mum you're talking about. Six, She's obviously four. talked about me enough. He's trying hard to win. If he wins, Veronica is going to let him take her out. Really? I didn't know that. I think we should try and stop them, do you not? Why? Because they're not a suitable couple. She needs a much nicer man. Someone like you. Well, I wanted to take Veronica out since we were at school together. Faint heart never won fair lady. Have you asked her how long she's staying in the country? Who? No, why? Well, if she's only an au pair girl, it could be quite a short-term arrangement with Dr Cartwright. Then she could have a temporary membership, couldn't she? Oh, I thought you had a more personal interest. And, uh, he said it was psychological, not physical at all. Oh, good for you. What did you do? Go out and lay every girl in sight? No. I'd like us to try again, Veronica. Back on the tightrope again, eh? After the first fall, they always go back up again. Look, it's not that. It's, it's just that... No, I understand. You just don't like failure being chalked up after your list of caps. 7-4. You're not bloody ethical, you aren't. What do you mean by that? You ain't got a nurse's ethics. You ain't discussing patients like that. If your mother is going to bring street corner gossip ethics into the hospital, then I'm sorry. It's an infectious disease. Now play on. But you're served. Try and win a point, will you? And let you make Veronica? Never. Oh, I'm betting in St Bruno over there. something wrong with him. You better ask your mother to go through the hospital files. You might have a history of illness. Look, I don't mind about you and Cartwright. Not Five, really. Seven. She's a wonderful lady, our umpire. I've known her since we were at school together. The boys were always fond of Veronica, and she of the boys. And were you not fond of her? What, me? 
I must confess, Veronica, that when I first aimed for you, I'd heard that you were an easy make. Oh, and was I? No doubt you boys discussed it in your little cups. Six, seven. You're gaining ground, Dropper Millie. And I, I, I planned, well, you, you know, in the caravan. I don't know what happened, Veronica. But you see, it was different then. I mean, then I, I was only trying to make you. But now I, I'd be trying to, well. Love me? Oh, don't bother. Might be my turn to fail then. Seven, six. Filter serve to Millie. You're losing your grip, Lock. You think she'll turn me down if we lose? Sure to, as you dirty boys say. She's a bit of a sport. We'll get a grip on the game. Eight, six. Is there another bloke, then? Another bloke? I'd have to get Dr Cartwright's report. Come off it, Veronica. You were glad to get away. You went off to watch the cricket finals. I find cricket very restful. Oh, I see. One of the team, you fancy, is it? And you heard. I'd been through most of them before I met you. Most is it all. The wicketkeeper was an old man. Dr. Cartwright? I hadn't heard. That's why he's had to have an au pair girl. His wife is suffering from nervous exhaustion. Can't be true. Ask his latest victim. Who? Millie. Millie? She's only a student. He likes them young. Twelve old. Oh, yes. For a medical man, I'm amazed how he's let his wife's nerves go to pieces. Oh, please, Mary, this is very tense. I don't blame you having a love affair. Married men, unmarried men, other men, other women. I mean, life is short and sex life the shortest part of it. Now, let's play for a win, shall we? I feel no urgency to fight for a win. Looks as if it's going to be a jolly good game. Experience is beginning to tell for Lop and Millie. Fourteen, twelve, everybody. Silence on the centre court for match point. I refuse to be beaten. What has happened to us, Philip? Your wife, she is smiling. Does she not want us to win? Does she dominate you even from the sidelines? No. No. Well, let's save this point. I refuse to be beaten, too. Oh. Oh. Side out. 12.40. Elga to serve. Well played, Helga. Well played. What a cliffhanger. Stop it. You've uh, bust your racket lot. Not mine, is it? Lynn, well, whose is it? That's why I picked up. It doesn't matter much to it. But it do matter. It might belong to someone. There's plenty more where that comes That's from. That's not the point. The point is that some of us cared enough to bring our own rackets. The way that some of us care enough to wear whites. Fets. So that's it, is it? Whites. Look. I never dressed for games at school. It showed too eager a spirit. I played to win, not be part of Dazzle set. It's my racket. He's broken my racket. All right, I'll get him another one. I didn't give you permission to use it. Lying around. What do you leave it lying around for? You must respect other people's property, lot. Respect? Pro Look, this is supposed to be a club, innit? We're all supposed to be friends, aren't we? I mean, mind you, put notices up. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Private. Do not borrow, but wear a pickpockets. Christ! So I joined this club because you're free. Now you're starting again. My best racket! It's my best racket! Oh, Christ's sake, Mary, it came from your mother's little toy chest. It was so old the cat got mummified. Now, can we finish the game? What do I use, then? Me end? Here, Lop. I'll risk my head. A shapely piece. Thank you, darling. Now, try and win this point, will you? Darling, what a racket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Call me Lawrence. I'll autograph your back. Match point, Lawrence. Just a minute. Can we stop them winning? Well, have a jolly good try. Shall we be naughty and let them win? Let them win? Yeah. I think somehow I let my enthusiasm run away with me. I didn't notice at the beginning of the night I so wanted a game. But I think maybe now they'd be much happier to have me next week if I lose. Are you coming next week? Yeah, I like the game. And there is something else I quite like. Well, which one is it? My secret partner. Conference over, let in. Do your worst, Lawrence. Oh, oh hey! Hey! Well done, Well done, Well done, Well done, Well done, We're going for a drink then. Well done, With the gang? Sort the gang. 
All right then, champ. Uh, don't run off, everyone. I'm, I'm going to take a photograph. Right, right, hey, off. are you going off with him? Send me a questionnaire. How the mighty have fallen. I didn't know the mighty was on a pedestal. Right, uh, all ready for the photograph then. Uh, uh, Rodney, would you um, just put the chairs over by the net? Yes, that's fine. That's smashing. That's fine. He knew about Lewis Cartwright. He knew from his old crone of a mother. Oh, darling, the whole town knows. You can't keep secrets. You did? Well, only from those who couldn't see. Or even want to see. Are you getting the chairs or gawping? I'm not the caretaker. I know you're not. But we married couples should take on responsibility for the club. These young things go to pieces. You'll uh, sit by me, won't you, for the photograph? I mean, after all, you were my partner at first, officially. Already? First evening and I'm being photographed. Are you, uh, are you going for a drink with the gang? Oh, well, uh, I think Lopez has plans. Oh, Lopez, has he? Right, uh, can we all sit That's down then, please? Um, I think we'll have uh, the champions in the middle here and the married couple, Philip and Mary, standing at the back to add a bit of stability, I think. Yeah. And uh, now Helga and I will sit next to each other because we'll... Hang on, hold it, hold it, hold it. What? If we're all sitting down, who takes the photograph? Oh, oh. 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 That's That's quite nice. Nice. oh. Well, one of us has to drop out. I think Helga should drop out and take it. Well, Helga isn't club. Helga, would you mind awfully taking the photograph? No, oh, I do not mind. But if I take it, will I be in the club next week? Never know, you'll have to darling. Lots. <laughs> we have to take a full vote on it to elect a new member. All right, they take a vote. Who will have me? Show your hands, yes, please. Yes, that's right. She's learning fast. Right, Spirit, and all that. Jolly good. Will you not count hands for me? Yes, I will. Oh, oh, my God. God. Here, I'll do it. Show them clearly, please. Mary? Well, is it a temporary membership for an au pair girl? Oh, God. Oh, pair girl? What cheek is that? I'm not an au pair girl. I'm a very good friend of Dr. and Mrs. Cartwright. Mrs. Cartwright delivered me. Delivered you? Yeah. She was an army nurse in Germany. She was at my mother's confinement. This is why I'm here. And please do not forget it. Oh, well, uh, you're elected then. Yes. yes? Yeah? Sure. Right. yes. Now I can take the photograph of my club members, but I shall also be in it. What? what? George, I have me here. I've got you there. Just through here. Camera. It has a small switch which will delay the exposure by 12 seconds. But before I set it up, I am going to rearrange you. Now, Philip and Mary, this is not a marriage photograph. Move away from one another a little. Allow one another to breathe. The marriage bonds are not chains. And now, George, you sit next to Millie. Yeah, yeah. Millie needs young men about her, don't you, Millie? And now, Veronica. You look far too lovely to be standing all alone. I think you should stand next to Philip. Yeah, next to Philip. That's so. Quite an arranger. And now, smile, please, Lawrence. Oh, no, I can't be sitting here. You're really on the championship. No, I, I can't be sitting here. I can't be sitting here. 